walkthrough video of 3092 Bay Street. We're located just north of Bahia Vista and just east of Tuttle. And this is, um, it's a nice neighborhood. All the homes on the street are very nice. Some shade from that tree, um, one car garage. This is a real nice block home and I always appreciate that because it has the beveled block all around which is really nice. Um, diagonal tile. Um, not an open kitchen here because we got like this living space, but new windows. And I love new windows in a house because they're so expensive to put in. So the way they have this arranged is this, uh, you know, I'm looking at this. I, I don't know if this was the lanai or what this was, but it's all tongue and groove wood panel. I mean, this is really nice. I, it's nice, um, real tongue and groove wood, but look at all these new windows. Nothing I like more than new windows. Energy efficient, they're so expensive to replace, and this whole house has got new windows all the way around. So this area is nice, very, very open and bright. Looks onto the pool, and I always like the pools that have those kind of uh, railings. In fact, I looked at a, a pool just recently, and I've, uh, that's really cool to have those concrete things holding the, um, uh, the handles in. Okay, so we step out to the garage. It's just a one-car garage, and we can see, um, you know, this is a real nice um, post and beam construction, block construction. I'm going to take a quick peek at the panel. If I can, I don't see a panel in here. It must be elsewhere. But um, just nice one-car garage. The kitchen is, is basic. It's very clean in here. But this is just a Formica top. I'm not crazy about the two different levels here. That's kind of weird and not really a bar area per se. Um, and I don't like how they did the filler with just some pine, but it's okay. I mean, the counters actually seem rather low, to be honest. And, um, you almost could put a new counter on top. Because the cabinets are, are decent. I mean, these are all vintage. Oh, look at that. Oh, what is that? Sorry. It's like a extending cutting board of sorts. Interesting. All sorts of little. Okay. Small refrigerator though. White appliances, but these windows I really like. I like the front door. So over here we have three bedrooms and two baths. And so this is, this is, ah, here we are. Ooh, looks like a brand new AC system. I like that. And here's the panel. Let's take a look at the panel. Huh. And a panel is this. I'm not sure I can see oh ITE. Okay. Not sure if that's an okay panel or not. And this is bypassed. AC has its own panel. Washer dryer hook up in here. And then this walks out to the pool area. Which I'll take a look at. Pool's really nice. Nice pool, big air, big open covered area here. And this, I didn't notice from the kitchen, this all opens up, which is really nice. That opens all the way up. And so, um, this is, I liked all the new windows. The cage is high. The cage looks to be in very good condition, as does the pool equipment. Um, very nice but I like new ACs. Okay, guest bedroom number one. This is a nice uh, floor. It's actually a, I believe it's a laminate, but it looks really nice. They must have just put that in. The tongue and groove wood and some built-in features over here and a closet. Nice crown molding, nice windows. Looks, everything's been redone. It's very nice, very clean. Paint looks great. Guest bathroom, tile goes all the way up to the ceiling. This is a new, uh, a newer uh, vanity and and Corey on top with nice, um, nice hardware. It's all very nice. A little linen closet here and another linen closet there. This is guest bedroom number two. This is a really good sized room. This is a big room. And uh, again, nice windows, it's same, same floor, very nice. And the master bedroom right here with two little closets. <sighs> I just love the windows. And pretty standard floor plan with a tiny master um, bathroom, which isn't bad. I mean, it has a new vanity. 
And I, I actually like how they did the um, the floor and the shower, and I like how the tile goes all the way up to the ceiling. So they did a nice job. Everything in here looks great. Um, this is a really nice house. And um, security system. Yeah, I, I have nothing but really nice things to say about this house. There's nothing I don't like about this house other than the kitchen could be updated, but um, fabulous house. Really good bones, nice floor plan. So we got three bedrooms, two bath over here. So all the bedrooms are together. Um, I kind of like how this laundry room and utility room is passed through to the, um, to the pool, which is fine. The only thing that I would change in this house would be to eventually redo the kitchen and open it up. I'd remove this wall and that wall and have a open area here. That's the only thing that I would change. But other than that, it looks really good. I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. And as always, thanks for watching.